is work of art. The next great artist. attack it today or what? I can't figure out the judging and the process and conceptual art and people acting. So I'm going to do art I have fun with. I really think I appreciate being here more than anybody because I have less to go home to. It would change everything for me if I could win. <sighs> now we just got to maintain. The fact that we started out with 14 and now we're down to 8 is kind of shocking. If I can make it to the final top three, I'll be really, really proud of myself. Let's get going. I just have to keep my eye on the prize. We go to Canal and Six to get our next challenge. It looks like a public art space. I don't know even what the challenge is, but I love public art. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Lower Manhattan Cultural Council's Lens Space, a public art space open to the entire city to enjoy. I'd like to introduce you to your guest judge, Yvonne Forrest Villarreal, co-founder of Art Production Fund. Yvonne, could you tell them what you think makes a successful piece of public art? When we first started our production fund, our goal was to bring the important messages that are found in contemporary art to an expanded public audience. Most public art has been inspired by the site first, and then the site is used to heighten the communication to the public. For your challenge, you will be creating your own art installation project right here. Two days to do it. Right. Ah! You will be working in two teams. Oh. <laughs> I will be the first one to admit I don't necessarily work well in groups. Compromising is never easy for artists. To determine your teams, please pick a paint too. No. Jacqueline, if you won the last challenge, let's start with you. Pick blue. Jackie has blue. I'm a little nervous about that because of the argument that we had, and we haven't really spoken to each other since then. Red. Blue. Red. Red. Peregrine, come on down. I don't really want to work with Mark. I don't like Mark's work, and I think that a lot of his work is just neutral. Blue. Thank you. Go join the blue team. Okay, I guess Nicole and Abdi, that means you'll be on the red team. Awesome. <laughs> now that you know who you'll be working with, you have 15 minutes to explore the site before you head back to the studio. There, you will each pitch your vision for your installation to your teammates. As a team, you'll have to choose which project you want to see to completion. And finally, we've stocked the studio with everything you could possibly need for this challenge. Your 15 minutes starts now. It would be so nice to erect a structure that you climb up into like a tree fort and has a window that only allows you to see when you're sitting a patch of sky. Be beautiful. Do you know what I'm saying? Miles so, step forward and has an idea. It's a little bit miles -y. It's like this basic quiet space for somebody to sit and look at the city or read a book. Okay. Let's agree on like three to four themes that we want to address. I think the constantly evolving thing, yeah. I think simple is a good one. I was thinking right. it would be cool too if we could have some kind of box on the bottom we could build for dirt and soil but have some kind of vine that can eventually grow up into it. Beautiful. Be beautiful. beautiful. Done. I have always wanted to do something like this. Just make something big and sculptural. Hop up. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Hop up. All right, tell me where you want me to turn. Eric, sometimes he lets his self-consciousness about being a newer artist get to him, but I think in a group situation, he's really going to flourish. Most places here, it's where somebody's working. What's going to maybe bring someone into this area, but also have them experience all of this that's just not here, but 
This is so important to New Yorkers to yeah. see this sky. Nicole's sort of taking charge of the group. You must feel the space. You must engage the space. I'm ready to talk about the design. Right now, let's just get ideas. Yeah. And then when we get back to the studio, we'll just assess our strengths. Okay. And also, for this challenge, I'm sorry, and you know, I hope that not, we just don't bring up anything in the past. Where did you get that idea? It's something that I'd already been so my thinking point is, about. It doesn't, doesn't mean that just because you... Don't ask me for oh advice. My God. I think it's cool that she extends that handshake first, and it, it shows a lot about her character, and so it was a nice surprise. This is going to be really great. I know. We've got a great team. I'm so excited. When we get back to the studio, we kind of formulate a plan on the supplies from Utrecht that are already in the studio. I need to say some major concerns. Yeah, sure. I've got some too, so. The gravel that's there is actually oh. really amazing. Wow, and so, like, these shapes, shapes. Yeah, these shapes. shapes. Yeah, these shapes. Yeah, shapes. Yeah, like, <laughs> I came up with the inspiration of our piece, and we plan to make a very beautiful and complex geometric form. You can sit on it, and you can lean on it. It's something that engages you to gaze up, but also bringing nature into our everyday psyche. I think it should be like just like a park of, of different forms. forms. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Keep them movable. This thing cannot be movable. Yeah, yeah you're it right. It should not, no. Okay. And it has to be sit onable and it has to be sustainable and not fall apart. Yeah. I love the idea of somebody having their lunch hour off and being inside of a space that feels very natural and is made out of natural materials. I started to hate this idea. I'm not trying to be like, I'm, I'm, the reason is I don't feel like it's aesthetically attractive enough. I think we have to eliminate any element on the exterior that makes it look like a clubhouse. Agreed. I feel like it looks very much like a tree house. It's not aesthetically interesting enough. So we went back to the drawing board. No vine plant things that make it look like a miniature house. And I agree with you. I was going to nix the plants at the bottom. I think it's too much. It's fine. So let's just get started. It's fine. Yeah, so we're not doing the vines? No, I think the vines are really silly. It's hard when nobody really thinks you know what you're talking about, and they'll shoot your idea down. It's really discouraging. Let's just agree. First on the shape, we've eliminated the boxiness of it. So it's going to be very rhythmic from the back, very beautiful from both sides, and very invit inviting. The final design has a beautiful curve that jutted out obliquely into the sky. Yeah, I want to make sure we all have our stamp on it, too. I don't want a judging thing to happen and go, Eric, right. what part did you take in the design of this? Right. And we don't say, want that None. either. It's four people working together for a common aesthetic. of the day is already gone, so we need to get this knocked out. So are we going to make one with a flat top and then one that's more pyramid-like? I did metal sculpture for the last year or two of my college experience. I've done lots of welding, making life-size figures, hopefully, you know, help the team out as much as I can. Maybe building this piece by piece might not be so bad. But then how do we put it together? As long as it doesn't fall apart when Jerry Saltz jumps on it. Yeah. <laughs> Jackie, get in the pretend bed. She's child-sized. <laughs> right. Are you comfortable? They each have special tasks. My job is to cut the two by threes. Miles and Peregrine are trying to figure out the angle and the curves. Jackie's making sure we have what we need and we got food and snacks and stuff. <laughs> Let's cut the shape up. This is where we're going to need a ton of teamwork because these need to be level. For the sculpture, I had a circular element at the top that was very sinuous. People could actually step into the piece and look into the stars or into the clouds. Eric, you're still holding because this will rotate. Holding, sir. Woodshop with Ryan and Abdi. <laughs> what not to do? Well, we're going to have to all become carpenters real fast because we're making our piece pretty much entirely out of plywood. It's in there. <laughs> we're only going to get one of these done. <laughs> Making a geometric shape is going to be far more complicated than any of us think. Art piece, how dare you? You're not Bruce <laughs> Lee, man. You're not Chuck Norris, okay? I'm sorry. Why is this so hard? <laughs> it's wood. That's why it's hard, you idiot. 30 minutes left. Mother of pearl. It'll be good. 
You're too positive, the other man. side, it'll be great. Yeah. It's approaching midnight. I'm a little bit scared. I'm not really a super mathematical type of individual. Are these exactly three feet, both of them? I need to figure out ways to structure it so that when people lean on it, it won't collapse. Trust me, it's stable, it's just not. Whoa, whoa. Okay, I'm getting down. We go back to the William Beaver house. We're all really, really exhausted. We also know that we've got a lot more work to do the next day. All right, Abby. All right, good night, man. And I'm not tired, but my body's exhausted. How's your uh, mysterious project going? Is it very teamwork oriented, or is Miles like the leader? It started off not very teamwork uh, work oriented, and I kind of kept voicing my opinion and told him like, hey, it's really gonna start to turn into an argument because I'm not going home for being the guy that didn't have anything to do with the piece. Coming up on Work of Art. Oh my God. I don't really give a how much time we have left, but I'm not your helper, dude. You just shot yourself in the foot, man. I feel like I kind of got assigned to the project manager role, which is really stressful because I need to make sure that everyone's doing their part. I'm excited that I have immunity, but I so badly want our sculpture to win and to see my collaborative creation in this space and know that I had a huge part in making it happen.